You see, Fortune 500 companies, company like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Apples, what is their number one focus besides inventing the best products in the industry to compete? Besides the product, it is what? Hiring and winning the right talent to work for them and to work with them, right? So it doesn't matter if you are running a sport team or you are running a church or a restaurant or a medium-sized business or a $20 million business. Your number one job as the CEO, as the executive, as the owner is to win the right people over, right? So for many, many years, a lot of people uh, have been uh, uh, searching for the answer. Well, how come I don't have the right people working with me? How come the people around me is always like complainers and they're negatives? Uh, it seems like they're not consistent with the work ethic. Constantly I have to motivate these kind of people and, and it seems that I don't have a superstar in my organization, in my business. What do I do? I mean, I look at other people, they have superstars, they have tigers, lions, and, and eagles working over there. But for, for me, I got a bunch of hyenas, I got a bunch of snails. What is going on here? Hold on. <laughs> what I'm about to say might hurt some of your feelings, okay? So embrace for impact, okay? But first of all, you have to understand in every business, there are four type of people, right? You have the complainers, right? Uh, people who always complain, they, they make everything worse than what it actually is, right? And, and if the sun is kind of like coming out, they'll make the sun go right back into the cloud and, and, and make it gloomy, right? Those kind of people are what I call complainers. They make the situation worse. Then you have what I call the non-believer. The non-believer is, you know, they're good people. They might not be bad people, but they just don't believe themselves they can do it. So they kind of affecting other people around them that, you know, they shouldn't be doing it as well. So their identity is very low. They believe maybe the product is good, but they just don't believe themselves they can do it. That, that, those, are the people, those are the people who I call non-believers, right? Then you have the believers, right? You have the believers means they're very positive. They, they, they're looking forward to a better tomorrow. They believe that tomorrow is gonna be better if they're consistently working hard. They're not there yet, but at least their mindset is very, very positive. Then of course, the last one is that you have the crusader, people who's obsessed with what they do. So as a business owner, with those four types of people I just described to you, what, what, who do you want to attract to be on your team? Well, certainly not the complainers, certainly not the non-believers. So you want to attract, you want to hire, you want to recruit believers and crusaders eventually to working with you. So how do you win these people over? You ready for impact? Maybe, maybe you are the wrong person yourself. Maybe you have to fix yourself first. So in order for you to win the right people over, in order for you to attract and hire the, 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 the believers and the crusaders to be on your team, you have to be a believer and a crusader first. H have you ever met anybody who is financially broke, becoming the besties, the best friends of a wealthy people? Notice what I just said, becoming, not knowing. There are broke people know a rich person. They know each other, maybe they grew up together, they know them, but becoming the best friends, it doesn't get along. Have you ever seen uh, somebody who believes in capitalism get along with somebody who believes in socialism? That's not how it works, right? So if you want to attract and hire the right people on your team, in this case, what? Believers and crusaders. You have to be the one first. You have to study your industry. You have to study what are you trying to sell and, and what are you trying to do to help other people. We're all selling a product, but behind the product, products are just products. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to just sell to make money? If your entire focus, if your vision, if the company you're working for, the vision is just trying to sell a product to make money, eventually you will stop and your people will stop and it will backfire. But if you believe in a crusade where what you're doing is having a solution to changing people's lives, okay, and helping people to become better, guess what? That is a crusade. And if you, or should I say when you, are obsessed with that crusade, 
and you become a total believer of that crusade, the way you speak is gonna be different. The way you talk is gonna be different. The way you move with your hands is gonna be different. Your tonality is gonna be different. You're gonna be more enthusiastic about every opportunity when you talk about what you do with other people, even they might say no to you. You follow what I'm saying? So in order for you to win the right people over, study your industry. Get into a industry or a company that you 100% believe in at the beginning. Now, you don't have to make a lot of money to believe in something at the beginning, but you do have to do your own due diligence. You have to have a long-term vision that you will be, you can be if you stick around and continue to work hard with the right things, with, 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 with listening to the right voice, but you got to become that believer first. You know, look, here's, here's what it boils down to. People don't necessarily have to believe in the product that you're selling first. They don't have to believe in the company that you're working for first but they have to believe in you that you actually believe in the product first. They have to believe in you that you believe in the crusade first. They have to believe you that you're enthusiastic and fired up about the opportunity that you're in first. Does it make sense for you? So start to change that. Start to work on yourself and making sure yourself do whatever it takes to get into an opportunity, into an arena, into an environment, offering a product that when you wake up in the morning, you are so fired up and you could not wait to get to work. If you do that, guess what? You're gonna be able to start to attract the right people over to you. You're gonna attract a lot of negative people still. You're gonna have negative people around you. You're gonna have complainers around you. But because of who you are becoming, you are obsessed with greatness. You're obsessed with the crusade. The negative and the complainers, the non-believers will eventually fade away and you automatically filter them out because you are a true believer, you are a true crusader, and the people that eventually right next to you are also believers and crusaders. I hope today's message added a lot of value to your business and life because everything I talk about is not just for business, it's about everything in life. Listen, if you love the message today, uh, post a comment below. Always love your comment and share the video to anyone that you see can benefit out of my message. And most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And at the end of the video, click the link and subscribe to my Just Win app. Inside the app, there are thousands of free contents that you can listen to, watch on a daily basis. JW here, and I'm looking forward to see you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.